All right, kids, welcome back. Let's play Neo 2. We got to deal with whatever is creating this yokai zone. So let's do it. Oh, you guys aren't too bad most of the time. This, yeah, these guys aren't usually too bad. I mean, I could completely screw this up now that I've said that, but they're usually pretty good. Like that, for example. Here's a problem. Something is uh, shooting at us. And that guy got all his key back like a jerk when I took a break to heal. Cause it was e oh, it's you guys. You guys are here. All right. Well, whatever. <sighs> Don't want to lose this one now. Obviously. So at this point, just letting him die of poison and avoiding damage, so I can deal with it a little. These guys more easily later. Yeah. Is that? Sh oh, I thought he just died. There he goes. Now, who is producing you guys? Well, you're both dead anyway. You can't live without his power, I guess. He was somehow producing you? I don't know. But no, that was important. I, I really didn't want to blow that fight because um, we have a new shrine to work from. And since I don't think there's Kadama in this level... Um, excuse me. I'm pretty sure we cleared what had come before in the level. But if we hadn't somehow, um, it's still good to have this Kadama Shrine to work from. But yeah, the fact that I don't think there's anything special uh, going on in this level that we need to go back and clear. I apparently got turned around about which way I was facing in the level here. Uh, I am talking in circles. What I'm trying to say is I don't think... Uh, I don't think there's anything we're going to need to go back and re-explore the beginning parts of this level for. I think we could just continue on forward. And that means that we can throw down a save right here. <laughs> My, I, I'm, I, I know it's not exactly proper Let's Play form, but I've got this text back and forth. But My sister is telling me about how my niece is becoming a Mystery Science Theater fan. And if you know anything about me, you know that I'm, like, addicted to Mystery Science Theater. It's just, like, adorable that my little seven-year-old niece is getting into that show. All right, let's see if we can find a way to get up here and deal with that asshole. Because he will make our lives difficult with his ranged nonsense. Merchant's Greaves. Really high-end Merchant's Greaves wouldn't be... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I almost fell for it. Almost fell for it. Like, at the very last second, I noticed that that was a pitfall. Probably not instant death, but it was definitely not where I wanted to go. I want to deal with this guy. I was actually pretty close. I almost blew that one. Because uh, I hit his... If I hadn't hit his horn when I did, I would have been in real trouble. I was getting too aggressive. And I hadn't set up any of my get-out-of-jail-free kind of stuff that lets you kind of be aggressive and get away with it if uh, you're maybe not completely super skilled. Well, see, this would be a, a s stealth kill if I can... Well, now there's two enemies. No, there's only one. Never mind. I'm, I'm losing my mind. There's only one enemy here. I just decided to soldier through his stink attack, which probably wasn't wise, but... So I got reduced health from that elixir, but I kind of needed some health. No, 
Okay. This room is almost certainly someplace I need to search. And when I say almost certainly, I mean I have no reason whatsoever to believe that this place needed to be searched. And it turns out that it really didn't need to be searched. Another one of you guys, a Kusarigama warrior. Apparently I'm not hitting this guy's horn. Ever. I need to get my back get out of jail free stuff going again, please. So that I can immediately use it up with death. Okay, so that was an extremely wasteful fight, but we got through it. Used too many resources up there. And I'm really turned around about where we are, unfortunately. And there's a yokai zone ahead. This was that path up. Okay, I'm kind of figuring out where we were at least. It does look like we're going to need to clear the yokai zone to progress. Certainly. Oh, there's a scampus up here, it looks like, or it sounds like. There he is over there. We got a divine branch. That's nice, I suppose. Say, so, am I going to be allowed to pet you or not? I'm not sure why it was taking so long for that to trigger. So, this might be like a secret back route into sneaking up on enemies. It might be worth trying to use. Ow. So many like bright yellow spots that I think are going to be loot and are just part of the background of this area. Summoner's Candle. If that's a re reformable item in the original Neo, that was I found a place to farm those and that was very useful. Uh, because without the um, percent chance of automatic grave recovery thing, uh, Summoner's Candles were really valuable in that game. That hits somebody down there. I think that's the way I... That's probably the way I came. I think that was like a, a series of traps. So we're probably heading in the wrong direction now. I need to get back towards that yokai zone. Because I thought we might have found a like cool back door way to get there and defeat the enemies. But no, nah, it looks like that's not really what happened. In fact, we t turned ourselves around and got back to the beginning of the level. So if I come out here, there should be a... Yeah, a shrine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tempted to hit the shrine again, but uh, we have cleared enemies. And uh, it might be to our advantage to try not to bring them back. And the level is somewhere over here. All right, let's get our uh, get our jail free stuff equipped. You're probably not the uh, the end of the level because uh, you're too close to the beginning. But oh, there's one of those one of those jerks is here too. The little flamey guys. Yeah. 
Ow. Okay. And I think my Scampus, if it's still around, no, it's not. I thought it might have been distracting this guy, because that would have been super helpful. But I don't think that's what happened. I think he just got out of range. Damn. There are other weapons where these guys are much easier to fight. To fight. I'm not speaking good English right now. Yeah, I'm doing a pretty terrible job against this guy, actually. up there. This is not good. I do not want to die from fire damage. I need to get... He's probably the guy who's actually making this a yokai zone then, because he probably disappeared when he got too far away from the entrance. I don't know how much... Oh, poison does work on him pretty well, actually. Yeah, the problem I've got here is that there's a ranged guy who's going to be taking pot shots. I'm trying to deal with the main threat. But if I can keep him poisoned... I just kind of failed at that a little bit. Oh no, I'm right. He is poisoned. It was something else that wore off on him. Slow down Talisman, probably. I'm starting to think he's the guy that we need to make sure we beat. Yeah, we got the Magatama. Oh, he was the guy? Never mind, that. this was the end of the mission. I didn't realize that. Well, that means I never got to figure out how to kill this guy. Whoever was up here shooting at us. Actually, it seems like it was fairly easy to get to him, too. Okay, this level is a little bit less involved than I thought. So we'll check and see if... Um, righteous Jasper. We'll have to check and see if we missed anything. As far as, uh, like, when we leave the level, did we miss, like, locks or stuff? Because I don't think there was any Kadama. But, yeah, that's a fairly simple one. And that's... It is done. This is the way. Boom, boom. Elixir stock replenished. Wow, thank you so much. This looks like it packs a lot of heat. The Makadama contains the power of fire god, so I guess that's why it drew fire, loving yokai to it. I hope it draws customers to the forge in the same way. Well, not exactly the same way. Anyway, time to get to work on some new ideas. We've got various cool shit. Soul core for purified. And, uh... Time's cleared one. Yeah, there's no special stuff to get from this level. No Kadamas. So we're actually okay. I have hit a point where I really need to clear inventory space, which I don't usually like to do on screen, but yeah, we, we, we have to at this point. We've got 16 items I can pick up before we're out of space. So... What is our Kadama blessing? Experience. No, it's the healer one. Yeah, because I've been on, I haven't done any off-screening of this game for a while. Um, all right. We got a whole bunch of a catchy kakakabarbarbarsh. Let's assume that the level 113 one is going to be the best. Because none of them are like purple text. Or even green text, which will eventually start showing up. Those are even higher end. So I'm just going to assume the level 13. A level 113 one with blue name is going to be the best. And we'll throw away the rest. That'll clear a little space right there. Um... Legion Spear doesn't look like anything special. Matanza Long Spear. 
higher level and purple text name, so it's got to be better than this one. Ryu Sukana's axe. Ame no Maharax. Uh, I'll just, i got to pick one or the other, probably. And, uh... Oof, they're both pretty nasty. Imbue Fire versus Imbue Corruption. Let's go with Imbue Fire. And, uh... Actually, I'll hold on to this one as a replacement for this one. Uh, new Kasari Gama, which doesn't seem to be anything special. There's a slightly better version of this thing that we hadn't gotten around to using yet. Obliterating Tanfa. Seventh Sword Tanfa. This imbues water, does a little less damage, but it seems like the fact that it imbues water would just make it better, unless you're literally fighting something that absorbs water damage. Better version of what we already had, so we'll switch. Um, Echoing Thunder and View Lightning, that's actually pretty cool. I gotta have a cool axis, because that's the next thing I need to level up, bitches. Um, this is... This one can level up to 900, so it's probably gonna be better. Evil Crusher Split Staff. Imbues Purity. I have a Zen Split Staff that imbues Purity. It's level 101. This is level 100. It's not fully leveled up, so it's hard to tell if it'll be better, but it looks like this is going to be better, so let's get rid of this. I don't have that many split staffs, honestly. I got rid of a bunch of them. Because I was collecting them like crazy. And right now, like, with bows and arrows, like uh, the two I am holding on to are ones that are part of the set. So, it's A uh, Throne Crusher cannon. It is probably better than this. Certainly does more damage. Although auto target weak point, um, let's see what that even says. Automatically targets enemies weak point when you lock in enemy ranged weapons. Not affect enemies without a weak point. Honestly, that might be better. I don't know that I'm using it properly, and I don't even have it equipped. This hand cannon damage close range. Huh. I'm not using them for close range, but if I did, they would be pretty nasty. I'd be set for nasty sensation. Mataza's Hamlet. This, uh... Oh, better defense, but this gives me a key. I'm going to hold on to the key one. Tiger skin helmet is not part of a set, so we are not holding on to it. This one... That is a better Oni Shibata helmet. Tengu mask, not part of the set, so we're not holding on to it. Bull mask, same deal. A regular troop, Karas, no way we're holding on to that at this point in the game. We'd have to have some really cool stuff, and I'm not even checking. Uh, life, Fomio power, toughness, toughness. Uh, this is going to be better. It's got life boost and gold earned, and they both have the same toughness. Master Swordsman robes. No point in switching. One we have is at least as good, probably better. Tiger skin. Like it, it's sometimes fun to like get a complete set of stuff that isn't part of a set, just because they have the similar add-ons. Like the uh, I was getting good kunai damage when I was using like the um, Fuma Ninja set, which is not an official set, but overall it's not as good as using an actual set set. Uh, Kintaro wins. This is a better overall piece. The Kentaro stuff, I think, will give us damage boost with axe. It might be worth actually using when I've got the axe thing going. Damage bonus unarmored. C. But I'm not going to use... I'm never going to go around being unarmored. I might increase damage you deal in proportion to how little army you have equipped. Well, no. 
Trading toughness for a damage boost. Probably worth it. Because even if you have armor equipped, you're getting something of a boost. It's just the less armor you have equipped, the more of a boost you get. Yuga Director's Waste Guard. Definitely better defense on this one. Master Swordsman Waste Guard. Yeah, this is just better overall than the one that we already had. Merchant's Greaves. Going from level 80 to level 110. There's really no chance that this is not going to be better, and it is better. Legendary Strategist Shoes. Uh, giving up ninja power and running speed and defense for toughness. It's only one toughness, though, so I'll let it go. Usually I prioritize toughness pretty highly in armor. Uh, Hammer to earn. Ninja's power doesn't seem to be a reason to switch here. You could director's greaves. Trading Amio power for defense. Eh, keep the Amio power. Although it's hard sometimes to know what the Amio power like boosts really do. I'm just like if I can't see a major difference, I'm just sticking with the one I already have. Um, this is going to be better. It's got better defense, better toughness, and then we are to the accessories. Uh, no real reason to hold on to that. Defense bonus, magic, ninety-five. Ninety-five is pretty good, actually. I probably want to save that just so I can. I have the option of switching to. The 90 and 95 defense bonuses, if nothing else from that is going to do any good. I don't know if anything new is going to show up where it's going to be useful to have glory, but I keep donating in case a character shows up with a really expensive... Um, but I don't know who would be left, unless there's somebody in the DLCs. Anyway. Hopefully the hidden tea house doesn't take forever. We do have a new tea uh, thing to appraise. And it was all crap, apparently. Clan battles, donate. All items. Gotta find something that is not. We will get a lock of gray hair. We could probably be more strategic and get that bonus twice, but I just need to clear my inventory at this point. Let's go ahead and buy those other transforms, even if I'm not using them. We'll just see how much we have left after we've done that. So if there's something that costs like a hundred thousand, I'll need a lot more glory. I missed, like, I liked her as a character. I, I'm getting way too much into telling you which female characters I like in these games, but the, um, the Kunoichi in the previous game... Oh, Scamp is a skin of, is it, eh? Okay. Well, that's nice to know, I suppose. But, um, yeah, I mean, I liked her. She had kind of her own story and uh, reasons for feeling the way that she did about stuff. So we can turn into Armored Up Akechi. We can turn into human-looking Katsuie. We can't turn into his, like, freaky yokai form, but I wasn't expecting that we would be allowed to. And, ah, yeah, we do turn into his spider armor form, which we can kind of already resemble. Fuku, she was, yeah, she was from the last game. So she's just kind of still around and not really connected to the story. And Mumio was, yeah, we really only have two women in the story. Well, then there's Akuni. So Akuni and Fuku are not actually in the story. We really only have one woman in the entire story. I guess there's your mom, but um, we can't transform into her as of now. All right, so this video is going to end a little early, um, but I think that's okay. We've got uh, a little bit more inventory space, um, and I now have, I believe, we should have enough sword points that I... Yep, I've got enough sword points to attempt the sword uh, dojo mission, and then it'll be a matter of grinding for axe points, which... Well, I might just decide to do some grinding for axe points off screen. I haven't decided. But uh, when we come back next time, um, I think we'll be doing a dojo mission. I'm Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you tune in next time for more of Neo 2. Bye bye.